Nick Hart from Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Boy Band Break. It's Chris Kirkpatrick here. Shout out to your podcast, Boy Band Break. Hey everybody, this is Howie D, and I'm listening to Boy Band Break. Hi, Ashley Parker Angel here. Huge shout out to the Boy Band Break podcast. This is Brad from LFO, and you are listening to Boy Band Break. Hey, what's up? This is Jacob. It's Dan. What's up? It's Trevor. And it's Eric Michael, and it's time for Boy Band Break, baby. Let's go! Oh! Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. And I'm Lydia, a.k.a. Mama Lou. Thanks Diana for pointing. again this week, but mm-hmm. she will be back hopefully next week. So, fingers crossed. Hey. Yes. Well, so, guys, it's the winter months. You know what's coming up, girls? Yeah, holidays. Season. What's coming up? Something to do with it, baby. Oh, okay. I'm like, what's coming up? No. Shake of my heart. You are the one that ha- is married. You should know what's coming yes, up. So I know. Oh, I know. Heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. heart. This is how the Koreans kind of do it. They do this. Yeah, that's a good way too. Uh, you but know, I don't like understand BTS. how this is a heart. I don't know. Because like here, right here, see here is a heart in the middle. You go like that. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I don't get it to be honest, but it looks like this. Very Perhaps cute. Like, there, like this. Like this. Like yeah. There's, there's my husband. There you like go. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Uh, so also known as single awareness days, if that if you are not or or you're an awesome person day or you know uh, yeah. it's all good sad day. Yeah. So you know what? If you like Valentine's Day, awesome. No, sad if you day. don't like Val- single awareness day, so that's why it's called sad. Then oh they have Valentine's God. Day, which yeah, is with your I the day before Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah, that's one with your course. friends. Right. Back in the day, I used to uh, go on Valentine's Day with my friend Olivia and our other friend Rachel, and we'd go to dinner. That was our jam. And then, yeah, there, she, she got married. And, what did you got call married. it? Tried to keep it. And when she had a boyfriend, I was like, that was fine. And then, long story long, I ended up crashing. I ended up being not the third wheel, but the seventh wheel on a Valentine's Day <laughs> oh. with four people I had never met before. So oh. it was good. I had steak. It was good. Anyway, so Valentine's Day is a day. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah, I like to give flowers out to people sometimes. Like my coworkers, Very I would sweet. bring them each like a little flower or something, like her. Yeah, you know, or you know, ignore it and move on. Hallmark holiday, get your oh, half so price too. chocolate the next day. You betcha. So, you Serrano black, Bakery you. makes little uh, fun uh, Valentine's mini cokes, so that's what I get I to can. celebrate. Mini what? Mini, mini cokes. cokes. Like so, they're li- little pastries. Oh, okay, like with they're- Coca-Cola. No, uh, that's just what it's called, mini cokes. But it's uh, like a wafer, mm-hmm. and it has like yeah, it's really good. Oh, nice! Okay. So yeah, lots yeah, of fun good. Valentine's Day treats. I so love they hearts. they make they put like hearts on it. They have like Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, that's cute. super cute! Yeah, yeah. Okay. there's chocolate on top. Yeah, I've awesome. been poor for so long. <laughs> I forgot this holiday existed. Back Not in the no day, life. what did your husband used to get you though? Roses. The long stem roses. He did. Yes. That That's was true. your Valentine's Day tradition. He would it's always true. Those. It's true. It's very sweet. I know. But you know what? We're living the dream, guys. Uh, so it's you know you, you give up one thing for other things. So I uh, yeah. and you can make and it fun for yourself. Expensive. You know, you can also yeah. buy your own roses or flowers. That's true. As, As Miley Cyrus. That's yeah. right. I, I can buy myself, myself flowers. flowers. See. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's the thought Draw that your name and the feeling sentence. and the love inside. So there you go. So, and also, right. so yeah. what yeah. some people it's a cool holiday, some people aren't, you know, whatever it is. We're you're here with you, us, guys. And we love the fact that you're listening to our podcast. So yeah, we love we do. Yes, thank so you so you much. Go. Yeah. And thank you for helping us hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. We, love it. Us out. we will continue yes. to update when we go to events and you'll yeah. see videos of various things. 90s con is coming up soon so mm-hmm. we're gonna most so we're of us are so going to excited up, but uh we will be sure to try to get the uh panel recorded and all that other stuff so uh it was good last year so hopefully it'll be great this year too so there's um for those who haven't heard of 90s con it's happening in connecticut march 17th to 19th um and and current boy banders that are attending are nick carter from the backstreet boys aj from the backstreet boys Joey Fatone from Insync and my love Chris Kirkpatrick. Oh, so if you're looking for me that weekend, I'll be by Chris's booth because that's where I'm going to be. 
um, obviously. And I'll be by Nick home. and AJ as well. Sophia will be everywhere because <laughs> I will be everywhere like because Sophia Con. Uh, it is a Sophia Con for sure. Like Boy Banders, Buffy, 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 the Vampire Slayer. Yes. Um, uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Clueless, the movie Clueless. Yes. Yes, and I forget the other one that I said. Oh, stay by the bell. Mm, yes. I will be reuniting with them. Well, there's well. there's gonna be a lots going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Expensive weekend if you want. <laughs> but uh, good thing we work. To yeah, so get it'll be fun. Them. So if you do see us there, please come by and say hi. I will most likely be wearing my boy band raid jacket because Yay. I feel like it's a denim jacket. It's nice. It's a promotion. Promotes promoting a go, fun so. thing. Yes, yes, it really does. Yes, it's so. beautiful. Looking forward to seeing you guys there if you can. And if not, be sure to come and listen to our podcast because we will be talking about it in the future. And yeah. Last year, Act it took Mundo. us two episodes to talk about it. So who knows about this year? Ah, exactly. Um, it might be a three-parter episode. Don't be shy. Come say hi. Exactly. Like that. That's cute. We're very we friendly. Chinzia will give, definitely give autographs. Yeah, okay. And so if you would like that. if you would like a business card, we will also give that as well. There you oh. go. Look for us with our cute little pink business card. Oh, and the QR way. code in the back, right? What? The QR code. Woo! Yeah, yes. I always see it, Chad. Don't worry. And it has all of our links on there place. as well. Yes. Our link tree and all that jazz. So, yes, yeah. So cool. uh, and we have anyways, a coffee as well. That's, that's right, so. not till March. So, let's focus back into February. That's right. 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 We're talking about Valentine's Day again. Yeah. Yay! So, unfortunately, most of the boy banders are married. What? I would say like a good 80% of them are married. Yeah. Um, so, this is just fantasy. So, and Lydia is also married, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. We've done this a few times in the past. And I think it's fun and it's cheesy and whatever. I found this like website that you can randomly pick names. So, we'll put in our favorite boy bands um, in there. So, we have... Uh, Backstreet Boys, In Sync, O Town, Ninety Eight Degrees, Jonas Brothers, One Wendy. Direction, and New Kids on the Block. Woo. So it will randomly select two names from that, and then we put in a bunch of activities for Valentine's Day. So because I Lydia forgets how this works every single time we do this. I do. Yep. So what's going to happen is two names are going to pop up, and those two names, and then one activity will pop up, and then we have to choose which boy bander we would like to do that activity with. Right. Okay. Thank you, you for that it. demonstration it as well, right. Lydia. It's miming it out for the for the. That's people. right. There you go. So let me just make sure that I have it loaded. Yep. Okay. So I'm just I'm going to present the, sh the share the screen this time instead of the tab, so I don't have to keep going back and forth. So. Uh, Does Lydia know she's muted? Wait. I think it's. Okay. Yeah, so I'm reading the brownie. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So new this time, yeah. I found little eggs that Yay. will pop up with the name, and I also found that it actually will pop up with two names. So here's Ooh. and then for the uh, thing we're gonna do the random cog thing where a little sheet of paper will pop up and will tell us what we're doing. Okay, okay. you guys ready? Yeah, ready. Let's go. All right, first pair: Ashley Parker Angel from O Town, which yes, like, yes, yes. Yeah. regardless. <laughs> Girl. And John Knight from New Kids, who is my favorite new kid. Um, yeah, so we'll see. So what, what is the activity we'll be doing? Lydia's like, I don't give a shit what the activity oh, is. I'm no. picking Ashley Parker. <laughs> like, I will, like, I will shovel manure if it's with Ashley And Parker. just say uh, that. Okay, I'll put that down as an option, but maybe <laughs> oh, next no. year we'll put <laughs> shovel manure. Okay, Write okay. it down. Save it. Yes. All right. Let's see what the cog machine presents us with, guys. Come on. Come on. Go to an escape room. Oh, but he was like, this is the least sexy thing that could ever be done. <laughs> oh, no. Well, after you win, you could go celebrate. He's very pretty. All I right. don't know so, if he's both of these smart. members are very pretty. Who who is the smartest one of these two? Oh, Do you that think is an interesting question? Do you think oh, it would boy. be John Knight because he has all these business things that he does? You know what I like about jo okay, so obviously Lydia's like an hour with Ashley Parker Angel alone in escape room. We don't need to escape, whatever. But uh, like, I mean, okay, if I if the purpose of the escape room is escaping, I if I were to pick who 
here would you like me to hear my reasoning yes please yeah <laughs> okay so john knight um obviously he's a member of new kids on the block he is, uh, yeah. he's very into construction so he has a show on hgtv called farmhouse fixer um so he is able to construct things and build things so i think in an escape room scenario john knight would actually have more information about this because he could kind of see because i've noticed that since i've started going to escape rooms you can kind of see like certain things that are a little bit off or whatever and you're like hmm that doesn't work right whatever Mm -hmm. so i can kind of be like okay we're going to need some sort of magnet to open this thing or something like that so i feel that because john has i think i think on lance's podcast he said something like 200 houses or something he's flipped Mm. over the years what whoa when he didn't even know what house flipping was back in the day and it was like a was very he was like what what does this even mean like whatever so um so yeah so he's done a lot of houses he's done a lot of things so i feel like structure wise i feel like john would know things yeah Yeah, and probably be good at puzzles he does he's a bit older so he does have more knowledge and like Mm. ideas how things wisdom um but again maybe ashley is also smart too we don't know this we know he's very good at working out he's very beautiful partially naked and he's very beautiful I don't know if we're thinking, oh, dumb blonde or whatever, but I don't, I, for this particular one, although I enjoy both boy band members, I'm going to go with John Knight on this one. I am also going to go with John Knight because I feel like he would be more helpful in this particular activity. True. I also feel like he's a bit more quiet. So I feel like the quiet people observe a little bit better, I would say. And John was actually on Amazing Race. I forgot about that. So he he does know how to solve puzzles. He did pretty well too, no? Mm -hmm. Him and Harley did well. So to Ashley's defense, I will say he is also a voice actor for characters. So maybe if he could like delve into their brains instead i don't know you know i'm picking okay. Ashley, whatever i'm picking i know you're I, picking Ashley. i have no life. no logical reason as to why <laughs> you know what you We're just not... want to spend more time with him that's all that you we know, are not that's getting a... out of that escape room alive. that is a totally valid reason lydia yeah sorry and who knows? Exactly. You might be excited be like yeah we will solve this and you know all right so well, well if you want to win that. i'm gonna go with john knight but okay. if you don't want to win ashley parker Angel. okay i'm going with that by the way yeah. anyone yeah. who's listening i hope you're playing along with us and feel free in the comments to write who you would pick in each of these scenarios yeah and yeah so because that's always fun to see what other people think yeah right? yeah because yeah. maybe there's something we're missing here yes all right next up Joey McIntyre the Joey Tone. It's oh, the battle yeah. Joey Square. Okay. So we got like Joey this. McIntyre from New Kids on the Block and Joey Fertone from InSync. Ooh. So what, what is the with them, ladies? We are boop, going to a spa day. Oh, Christ. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All I know right. what you're doing. Who enjoy the spa? I personally Joey Fatone can't sit down for two minutes. Come on, you think he'd enjoy a spa? So I feel like Joey McIntyre is a very zen. He does a lot of yoga and spiritual things. So I feel like he's probably a big spa day guy. He has good skin, things like that. Joey Fatone, much to Lydia's point, is hilarious and can't sit still. So I feel that like I don't know why I suddenly have a vision. You know, like in all those TV shows where they like go to a spa and then it's like, oh, we have this special one where they have branches and they like hit the people with the, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can, I can picture, I don't know if that actually happens at a real spa because yeah, I have not gone happens. to a spa day, yeah, yeah. but I can imagine Joey just like whacking like with this freaking tree branch and like, or like pretending to be a masseuse and going to another room and like, <laughs> thing, or like yeah. shenanigans. I could do that. Yeah. I feel like I would pick Joey Fatone just for the shenanigan purposes because spas stress me out i know they're supposed to calm you down but they also like stress me out so okay massages so i'm going joy for tone on that one i'm gonna go then with joey mcintyre because i feel like he would calm you down if you're nervous or anxious he would like he maybe he would sing to you and be like you're gonna be okay so i'm gonna go with joey i'm gonna go with joey uh, because like at you the end, you didn't say which one, Lydia. Oh, right, 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 right. I meant to say I'm gonna go with Joey McIntyre because at the end of the spa day, he'll say, "Please don't go, please don't ah. go." I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay, so he'll yeah. sing to you to calm you down. 
Yeah, you know what? And yeah, serenade you after a lovely, relaxing time. Good. Yeah, because Joey Fatone would be like, oh, I'm eating cucumbers off my ice. I, yes, I was picturing that too. <laughs> this lemon, this lemon, do you have any more lemon soup? Like, like that's like him. He'd be getting like, like pedicures and he'd be just like saying shit. Like, I, yeah, like I was like, yeah, Joey's nuts. Yes, but I Joey feel Fatone like if you would like a relaxing, nice spa day, you're going to have Joey McIntyre. Yeah. He'll probably also be shirtless if you guys are getting massages. So. Ooh, also, eye um, candy too. See, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Joey uh, McIntyre. I'm still me. sticking with Fatone, but you know, I understand your reasonings behind McIntyre. So. <laughs> Listen, and we're probably gonna get kicked out of the spot if you're with Joey Fatone. Seriously, probably. He's like probably. a band for life. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? All right, moving along. All right. Next up, we have Joe Jonas from the Jonas Brothers versus Eric Michael Estrada from O Town. Right. As usual, I'm going to Google Joe Jonas because I don't remember which one it is. <laughs> he's the middle one. He's, one he's, uh, he's, he's the, the Taylor. Best. He's the Taylor Hansen of Jonas. He's brothers. married to Priyanka. Okay. No, he's no. not. That's Nick Jonas, bud. Yes, it is. I was testing oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Freaking goofball. God love you. Okay. He's married to Sophie Turner from. That's oh right. my god! You guys are hilarious. Like what does it say? I can't see. Go on okay, a romantic. So like, it says go on a romantic scavenger hunt. So it's just like you know, Ooh. assuming that you have been in a relationship with this person, and then like there's things about your past that you're gonna go and like, and it'll lead up to like a dinner or something like that. So you're going on a scavenger hunt. It's almost like an escape room, if you will, but out in the wild. Okay. Going to various I places. Think, in the car. Uh-huh. I think what it would be fun to go on a scavenger hunt with Eric Michael Estrada. Okay. I think he would make it fun. I feel that Eric is competitive. So I feel like that would be an interesting thing for him to do. And he'd be like, okay, we've got to solve the next thing, whatever. However, I feel like Joe Jonas, it would be just fun to hang out with him for a day. So... I feel like because I've never actually met any of the Jonas Brothers for this particular venture, I'm going to go Joe Jonas on this. Although I love Eric Michael Estrada and he's sarcastic and hilarious and like the silent type, I feel like I would have fun with Joe. So that's where I'm going to go. I enjoy Joe Jonas. He's a lovely person. Seems like it anyways. Um, but I'm going to stick with Eric Michael Estrada. I feel like he would make it a fun time. Oh, he definitely will. And O-Town has done... Um, VIPs where they do like, yes I do so, recall this last VIP they did they had like a scavenger had, like, or whatever games and stuff. yeah, so yeah that like one. Eric would be really good with that I just feel like eh, let's hang out with a Joe bro that's, it's all good it's all good both, both, both are lovely gentlemen yes I don't like either of these options I hate oh. them both oh, but no oh, like okay well for a romantic scavenger hunt like it just i can't picture myself with either of these gentlemen um but if i'm going to probably go with maybe eric michael estrada because he'll he'll we'll end up at chili's <laughs> enjoy your dinner at chili's, chili's? Fun at chili's. for those oh. who have no idea what we're referencing if we go back a few episodes to my uh birthday we went to Niagara Falls, New York to go see uh, O-Town. And then we tried to get into the Olive Garden for dinner, but it was really backed up. And then I thought we were going to Applebee's, but I turned into the wrong plaza, ended up at Chili's. There was no line at Chili's. Nope. Uh, so we went in and as we were eating, uh, Diane looked outside and said, hey, isn't that O-Town? And we're like, holy shit. So we went out. So O-Town was eating at Chili's. So we talked to them a bit. Took some pictures. Lydia had my favorite interaction ever. Uh, on mine as well. Where she like went up to Trevor, sandwiched his hand in hers, and said, "You're very beautiful." He's a beautiful You're just- man. She beautiful came man. out of nowhere in between Chinzia and I. It was beautiful. And I love grabbed it. the hand. She like literally burst open the door because, yeah, it was weird. and then yeah. grabbed his hand. It was like, "You are a very beautiful man," and I was like, "He is though. He is." It was very entertaining. No cap. No cap. Thank you, and Leah. You You've been on our podcast twice, so thank you very much, Trevor. And he liked a lot of things on Instagram, so thank you, Trevor. Hooray! I have no idea how we got on this tangent. All right, chili. So then afterwards, when we went to the thing, Diane and I stayed for the um, the picture at the end, the selfie thing. And Eric came out and he's like, "Did you have fun at Chili's?" 
So I'm like, oh, he remembered us from two hours ago at the restaurant. So. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Um, but he didn't I do take it. pictures. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Okay. Best guy. All right. Moving on. Yeah. Drew the Shea versus Ooh. Kevin Richardson. So Drew ah, is my no. favorite, him and Jeff, oh, from yeah. Degrees. And Kevin Richardson is the strong, silent type from uh, Backstreet Boys. So that's and both. Kevin, that's Kevin has moved up a lot in my list of favorite Kevin is very members. good at making you feel special. Okay. Yes. Mm. So. Uh, do a fun photo shoot. Okay. Oh, I think okay. Kevin I would like be a lot of fun. Shot. He <laughs> likes to do, He, I think he would like to do a fun photo shoot and maybe let loose a little bit. Sorry, who's this? Kevin. He uh, dressed I, up as a bunny on Easter. That's true. That and true. He, I don't know. I feel like he would be fun. I think he would let loose a little bit and because uh, he wants to make it fun for us. I think he would do a good job. I'm going to pick Drew Lachey because of course. he's like size <laughs> and adorable and funny. And I feel like, just like, you know, sometimes they're antics on stage when they perform and he like does the Moana and he like prances around and stuff. I think Drew would have like some, I think it would be entertaining and we could do fun shit. Even like when we were at that shitty convention, what was that? Rewind, Rewind Con. Con. Yeah. And I was hanging out with Drew and we're just like leaning up against each other, just shooting the shit and stuff. I'm just like, Drew's a good guy, man. So yeah, Drew is fun. I feel like I can convince him or he can convince me to do some funny shit. So that's where the fun photo shoot. Somebody else? I think, I think Kevin could come alive and make it fun. I would yeah. pick Kevin. You could do like a romantic boy. You could, prob- you could probably get him to do like a Bridgerton type photo shoot. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, that would be fun. Wearing like the tails and stuff and then you Absolutely. could wear like a fancy dress. That would be amazing. Yes. 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 Sign my ass up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Something about Kevin I feel like would let loose in a photo shoot because he would want to make it fun for us. Well, he did make that that terrible movie about vampires. So that's true. Vampire Bird can let's not so let's not bring that up. Let's not bring that up. Very Minus terrific. that. Let's yeah. uh Let's not bring that up. Yeah. All right. Please. All right. So we got a two for Kevin, one for Drew. I uh, like it. Moving along. I still love Drew. Just saying. No, no, that's fine. Donnie <laughs> Wahlberg. Ooh, from this is an Wall. easy one. This is easy. Liam Payne from One Direction. Sorry, this is easy. I feel one. like we've already made a decision. <laughs> <what we're doing. laughs> I'm googling Johnny Wahlberg. Yes, this is the one that I. Oh think well, he is. okay. Okay, okay taking a cooking class. Yeah, I'm going Johnny Wahlberg. Yeah, I don't even care. Oh, Johnny yes, Wahlberg yes. would make a cooking class so much fun. With him Wahlberg and Jenny and probably go to cooking classes a lot too. Probably. Fun. Yeah, I feel just... like Donnie knows shit. He knows a lot of people who own restaurants, including his own yes. brother. Um, and other things so I feel like a cooking class with Johnny would be a lot of fun yes yes and I would he's also love Donnie. eternal Donnie love Wilbur. eternal I feel yes. like Donnie's always uh, always appears at least to be in a good mood yes. um and I don't know about Liam it's kind of like I don't know about him either so that's why yes. I, right away I'm like Donnie Wahlberg is not if anything yeah. Liam probably needs to take a cooking class because he's a lot younger and probably doesn't mm. do a lot of cooking but Donnie Wahlberg, baby. Yeah. Wow. Look at us. A trifecta, we Donnie finally Wahlberg. finally got all of us hey. agreed on. Yay. I want to, like, cook weird shit with Donnie Wahlberg. I want to cook, like, artichoke hearts and, like, you know. Okay. Or, Frog legs? Or, you know, like, weird <laughs> shit. You're yes. like, yeah, Donnie, let's do it. Because I trust I'm in good hands. Yes. I like it. Agreed. Yeah. All right. Next up, Nick Jonas. Oh. Ah. Yeah. And Lance Bass. So <laughs> I'm so yeah, excited for this one. Lance Bass from NSYNC. So both love both of these guys. Both of them are great, great gentlemen. Let's see what the activity is. Ba-da-ba-bum. Go to an amusement park or go on a gondola ride. Ooh. I'm going to go. Man, I don't know. Man, I feel like both would be fun to do I think both this. Would be fun too. I, Lance Lance has gone to Disney a lot. Yeah. And he would be but I like Nick Jonas as well. This one is a little it's bit funny. of a tough one. This is a tough I'm going to give it to Lance, I think, cuz he's like more fun in the in Disney, I think. Okay. I don't know much about if Nick likes Disney or not. 
I feel I feel like I will also like even though my reasoning for picking um, Joe Jonas was because he didn't spend any time with Jonas Brothers, and I though I do like Nick Jonas, I'm gonna go with Lance Bass on this one as well because. You're right. He like lives in California, goes to Disney yeah. all the time. Like I feel like it's his jam. He's probably knows like the good rides to go to or whatever. We don't have those like front stage things. So you don't have to wait in line for any of the rides and things. I think it would be fun. And I'd be cool if Lance brought his husband Michael to that as well, because yeah. I think that would be entertaining. So he seems Lance like Bass. a fun guy as well. Yes. For sure. Lydia? Mm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay. Uh, you know, Nick, uh, is, uh, like, he's cute, he's cute, but he can probably be a handful, um, which might be, like, annoying. Uh, I feel like Lance would probably take care of you a bit better, you know, like, hey, let's go, you know, have a slushy. and you're like, yay, like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And I, I feel like I know Lance better only because I've known him longer, so I'm gonna mm. go with Lance, yeah. Fair, that's a fair. Also, like, they grew up in Orlando, so they've gone to tons of those, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The music yeah, like I feel like he could like give us a tour of things as yeah, well. For sure. Like yeah. hey, this is where we used to perform. This is where we used to yeah. So, yeah. All right. All for Lance. Okay. Oh, look at yeah. us. Ooh. Three. That's Ooh. twice now. Look at us. Oh. <laughs> Justin Jeffrey from uh, 98 Degrees. Uh, and Nick Jones. Uh, sorry, Kevin. Kevin Jonas from the Jonas Brothers. Oh. I also love Kevin. He is one of my favorite. He's <laughs> I like do. all the Jonas Brothers, really. All right, let's see what we are doing with these guys. Jumping off a bridge. Going to a fancy restaurant. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. A fancy um, restaurant. So I'm going to go to a fancy restaurant that perhaps serves meatballs um, with Justin Jeffrey or uh, Kevin Jonas. I'm going to go with Kevin Jonas because I feel like he would buy us a nice steak dinner. Yeah, steak, baby. <laughs> um, I'm also going to go with Kevin Jonas because I like Kevin. And I feel like, I, I don't know why I'm suddenly envisioning him wearing like this really fancy tuxedo for some reason for this like fancy dinner. Um, but yeah, I think I think Kevin would be a good person to have dinner with at a fancy restaurant. Delightful. As you, as and I'm sure say. he can afford it more. <laughs> yeah. That's probably true. Yeah. This is um, a tough one because I think... I think spending an hour with Justin Jeffrey might be like a little painful, but also, but also, maybe he has good taste in food, so maybe he might. True, because good. Kevin, when we were skinny, playing that ninety-eight degrees him. game. There was a lot of food questions, and Justin was the answer for things. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, kind of like, that's true. Mm, I think this might be the only time I'm going to pick Justin. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Yeah, congratulations! Proud of you. I'll take him to Copa. We'll have a good time. Oh, Maybe I'll get yeah. to know him better. There you we go. Go to the wow. new Copa that opened in Niagara Falls. Hopefully. Yeah, not. please. I would yeah, love to go. So it's like $98 a plate. It's like 80 bucks or something. It's, it's horrible. It's like, I better get a whole fucking like side of beef for this amount. But... Yes. And, and, and a dancer dancing my entire meal. Just like. Mm. Dinner and a show. Right? Yeah. All right. Moving okay. along. All right. Let's go. Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees Ooh. and Nicholas Shea from 98 Degrees. So is this a hard one? I think it might be a hard one. This is going to be easy for me solely because I know who I would pick and I know who Lydia would pick. So I feel like it's going to be hard for Sophia. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because I like both guys. That's why it's hard. Eat chocolate covered strawberries. Who are you eating chocolate covered strawberries with? Uh, yeah. I'm going to. Oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I just, it just came out of my body. I feel body. like we should also have champagne if we're eating the strawberries. Yeah. Adding it there. We can do whatever. I'm obviously uh, picking Jeff Timmons because I love Jeff Timmons and I think it would be a good fun time. I love both guys, so that's why it's hard. I think they would both be fun. Um, but the I'm going to... Nick. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to lean towards Nick as well because he could feed me the chocolate covered strawberries. Ooh. that's hot good i agree all right correct answer, <laughs> correct answer. <laughs> oh lydia i'm kidding all right very nice yeah that was easy all right lydia was gonna pick nick lachey <laughs> oh, no, i know i know i was it was hard it was a little bit hard to come that was hard yeah i like now, both guys nick lachey like... versus ashley parker angel i feel like lydia would have some issues in this actually. particular mm -hmm. yeah. Who, who would you pick? Yeah. You yeah, would no, pick no. Ashley Parker Angel, I'd pick huh? Ashley. I'd pick Ashley. Yeah, Parker I feel like she would pick Ashley. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Gorgeous! Okay. So essentially what you're telling us is Ashley is your number one boy bander. 
Oh, yeah, but does it count if he's not in boy bands anymore? Yeah, that's kind of the eh, he's not there. It's the like right? an adjacent now because he's not, or oh, once a boy band either. member, you're always a boy band member. Yeah, so. he's just in Timberlake out of the group, right? So it's like Ugh. random question, actually, that obviously neither of you are going to know the answer to this. <laughs> but beautiful. Like, okay, so you get royalties when you're an artist, right? So yeah. like if songs play on the radio, blah, 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 you get royalties. So if Ashley is no longer in the band, but the music that they made while he was in the band, like All or Nothing, is he, he still gets royalties on that stuff. Of course. Yes, because he was in the band at that time. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously like from the lines and circles and stuff, he wouldn't get anything from that. because Correct. No. Yeah. Yes. So Because he doesn't own, he doesn't own O-Town like to Old Town name, right? Wait, so you're both talking at the same time. So, so first and then Shadia? I said, like, he's not a part of Old Town anymore, or he doesn't own the name or whatever, so that's why he wouldn't get royalties now, right? Or any future things. Yeah. yeah. But when they're playing concert and stuff, do you get royalties for that? If so, then it's beneficial for Ashley that Old Town is still together because he's still getting money from some of these things, especially yeah, if he ends up writing any songs or anything. Yeah, I yeah. would think that he does because he was still in the group back then with those songs. Yeah. Yeah, random okay. question that has nothing to do with chocolate covered strawberries because really i mean you can you could argue that the band with him in it was successful had he not been in it they may not have been as successful as they were true that's true. fair that's a fair assessment what about I think I think Kaika, guys anybody sued anybody it's not like a lou perlman thing no or whatever, so no it's like, hmm, everyone's forgetting ikaika but just you know whatever Lydia, you have never forgotten him. Never forgotten Ike. So that means a lot. I would love lot. to see you pick him out of a picture. I'm pretty sure you don't know what he looks like. He has like long different. hair and he's flowy. I hair think she just likes to say Ikeika. Because it's a pretty I fun name. I love saying Ikeika. It's like saying salsa. salsa. See? Salsa. It's like, it's like a salsa. Okay. You just like Ikeika yourself out of here. <laughs> I'm sad that the chicken disappears when I click this because it goes so fast. Do you guys see the chick? Yeah, we see him. Ooh, yeah. Fun. Zane I Malik know who versus Justin Timberlake from Wow, oh, the two deserters. Ooh, the two that left their. Bags. I feel like Trinity will pick the least. Zane, I feel I like she'll pick it Zane. Depends what the thing is. I, I used to be a very Zane used to be my favorite member of One Direction, but then also in previous years he's. Been, ah, fuck, this is gonna be yeah. hard, guys. I like Zane. All okay. right. Let's see what the option is. Come on, Zane. Go to a comedy show. Oh, he would not like that. Oh, my God. I think Justin Timberlake would enjoy a comedy show. I agree. So I'm going to choose Justin Timberlake. Sorry. Yeah. Tim. Zane's too, like, grouchy. I feel that Zane is too serious. Yeah. And probably needs to go to a comedy show. Agreed. But yeah. he's also a little bit of a younger generation. Where I feel like comedy would offend him and other things like that. Also a good point. Um, yeah. And he wouldn't find it funny and he's too woke or whatever. And I'm like, oh, mm. God. Guys. You're picking the JT. Yeah, pick JT. Kick it off oh, like a Band-Aid. Just rip it, it off like a Band-Aid. It pays Maybe me you to do this. You guys need to mend the, mend the fence. But I'm going to pick Justin Timberlake. Yeah. I understand. I understand. We will not hold it against as you. As much as I say that I hate him and all these other things, whatever, I know lots of people love him. He is an actor. He can do funny things. He, he has one great song, song that you love. Yes. All right, guys. Just you picked Justin Timberlake to go to Look at us. Show. The three of us agreed. Woo. Yay. Wow. wow. That was fantastic. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Them. Oh, so I also like One Direction <laughs> versus Chris Kirkpatrick of InSync, who is my husband. So, um, and I totally spelt his name wrong. Oh, <laughs> uh, Patrick! Oh my God, Julia! I was typing quickly, guys. Okay. You were the one who was always about the spelling. I know, right? There, I yeah. Both L's and Niles We're going to roast you today. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. That's amazing. All right, Thank guys, you, Tindia, for the laugh. So, Niall okay. is the slow hands guy. Yes, he's the blonde. Slow hands. The Irish guy. Uh, get married. Obviously. Obviously. Obviously, I'm marrying Chris. Like, hello. Oh, Although, I think Niall would make a really cute groom. 
is it okay stuff like that and he would serenade you and stuff but obviously i gotta pick my og hubby i'm marrying chris so if we both can't, are excellent options we so cannot. are we able to no. marry chris as well you you cannot. It's, it's fine, the bro right? code you cannot it's illegal we can be sister wives it doesn't matter all right it could be so... alternate universes <laughs> I know Chris more than Niall, so that is why I'm going to pick Chris. Thank you, Trinzia, for allowing that. You know what? Whatever floats your boat there. <laughs> Lydia's eyes are saying otherwise. I could never pick Chris. No offense. Uh, he's uh, <laughs> like, like, okay, not only is, do I view him as my brother-in-law already, um, even though you guys have never gotten married, um, it's just uh, I yeah. Okay, this is gonna sound weird. He would do weird shit in bed, and I'm not interested. I'm. I don't want him to be like, oh, I'm using my my balls as a parasail. Like, I don't like want any part of that. It's fucking weird. Um, I'm just saying. I'm not that he's done this, but like, I've seen that you puppetry of the penis. I feel like yes. that, I feel yes, like he'd be in the corner doing some puppetry shit, and I would just be like, okay, I'm just gonna like read some yaoi and. You know, go over there. Like, I don't know. I'm just. To be it, fair, when you're married, some Pete married couples are not like together all the time. I mean, yes, this is true. Um, they they could do their own thing for a long time. I guess that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. But I'm just. Just uh, marry Niall. I would love I'm to. It could just Niall. be, it could well, just be a convenience listen, to marry, I'll marry Chris. I'll marry Niall because he's, you know, British ish. Irish he's fucking but... hilarious he yeah he's really funny and he's very cute I think that's the Irish in him right I... and it's and the, <laughs> the Irish in me ah look at the Irish listen I'm not those guys this is what we're doing okay anyways but um he's uh yeah I think uh, I think uh, anyone I don't know I'm, I'm speaking for all women in general I think anyone with a, a bit of an accent gives a tingle in the vingle you know yeah. it doesn't matter if he's like Doing my taxes, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, you do that taxes. I don't know what the hell you're saying. I would pick Niall. Mm. Obviously, if there was another option, not just if it was Nick Carter. Yes, I would pick Nick Carter. Oh, that would be hard. That would be hard. I don't know. I do love Niall. He's very pretty. I think he's funny. I think he has like he swears a lot. It's great. I think he's very entertaining. Um, But yes, I gotta, I gotta pick my hub hubs. I don't know. I think Chris would be fun. Yeah, no, Niall for me. And he obviously. seems like a good husband to Carly, and they have a kid and stuff, so it seems like he yeah. would be not puppetry of the penis all the time, but who knows? And, and he, like, goes, he he leaves the house a few times. That's and, true. Like, he is on the like, okay. like, it's like a peace and quiet a little bit. So I feel like Chris would be a wonderful husband. Oh, to okay, that's fair. Yeah. that's fair. All right. All right, moving along to the next one. You got it. Nick Carter from the back. This is Road. easy. I, I'm sorry. This is easy. And Jacob Underwood. Ooh, from... Jacob's cute. Okay, I love Jacob Underwood. Thank you. Yes, I love him. He's wonderful. But I'm gonna go with Nick Carter. You don't even know what you're doing. Who cares? I don't care. You could be like wiping old people's butts out of retirement. Well, as long as Nick Carter helps me. Option. As Nick Carter is helping me do it, it's all good. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what uh, what thing we're doing with <laughs> da, 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 da. Go on a shopping spree. Okay. Okay. You trust maybe, Nick to uh, hold stuff. Come on. Has the money to support? Fuck. No, no, it's okay. I'm gonna stick with Nick Carter. I feel. I feel like he would be helpful if I give him the directions. You think that he Nick needs. Carter's gonna help you shop? You yes. don't even know where he is. Nick uh, yes. Stupid things. I feel. That's like. okay. I think he would. He would be helpful towards things. Okay. You just gotta give him direction. Once you give him the direction, you just let him know these are the things that we're gonna get. You go in and but you I go think out. This is like a fun shopping spree. It's not like this is more like a supermarket sweet bullshit. Like true, that's you're going true. to okay. the store and you're collecting like one of those Mr. Yeah. Beast videos where you have like five minutes to collect as much shit as possible. Like I think Yeah, that's... I suppose that's a good I thing. think he would make a f- fun. So I feel like if it was like a supermarket sweep type thing. Jacob might be a little more adventurous there and like pulling shit off the wall and being more competitive, but obviously I'm going to go with Nick Carter. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, Even yeah, like I know stupid it. things, who cares? Nick is the best. 
Yeah, I suppose. You know, I feel like Nick bought a lot of stupid shit over the years, so I feel yeah. Like, like I don't know. I feel like I know him, so I'm like, okay, yeah. I'll give you the instructions that you need. Go yeah. in, go out. I suppose that's true. Yeah. Oh god, uh, I want to spend as much time there. I'm not. We're not yeah. rushing. It's not a thing. I'm just gonna do our thing and shop. Yeah. yeah. You might need to try that's on true. a bunch of clothes, and you gotta like give your opinion. Yeah, you that's know. true. That's very true. No, you should take off that shirt right now. I can't see it. I can't envision I it. I feel on like you. that shirt is <laughs> chafing you. I don't know. Yes. The yeah, pants. The pants don't fit. Maybe you want to try this one. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm, okay. Mm. All right, I'll pick Nick. Turn well. around. Let us see your butt. Even though Jacob is a very attractive man, Nick Carter. He is, is for like, sure. Yeah. I, I love Rainbow. Jacob Underwood. He's a nice guy, but uh-huh. I'm sorry, Nick Carter. Yeah, right, Nick. Yeah, you're right. All right. Uh, all right. So look at that. We all agreed again. Woo. Oh, you picked <laughs> Nick too? I thought you picked yeah. Jacob. Okay. What did I pick Jacob? <laughs> Oh, I thought you was because I, Jacob. I don't know. No, I didn't pick right. Jacob. Nick I said Conway I love. I said I love Jacob too, but Nick oh, Carter is the one. Yes, yes. Oh, that was fun. Because so you never now. thought that would happen, right? Like, I definitely did not think that was going to happen. I was like, so, okay, I'll walk with you guys. At, sure. Our very first convention, and then Chris was bored, and he's like, hey, you want to go shopping? I'm like, okay. Yes. So we just like wandered around the dealer's room. None of us bought anything, but it was still nice. Yeah. And then some guy came up to Chris and said, I really love you. You're in the Backstreet Boys. And Chris was like, thank you. <laughs> just, and then he shook his hand. Yeah. Like, I get that a lot. I just want them to feel bad. He's like, I don't know if they're being a jerk or if they're just actually trying to be nice. So, like, oh, God yeah. bless. Wow, it was fun. It was fun. And then from and that we experience, we're like, okay, let's go to Rewind Con yes. and do volunteer work. Yes. All righty, moving along next. to our next one. Yeah. Jordan Knight from New Kids on the Block versus Brian Littrell from the Backstreet Boys, one of Sophia's OG favorite Backstreet Boys. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, Jordan Knight is the guy who was in the Mops and Dongs tour, right? Uh, yes, yeah. he was the Nick and Knight tour. It was Jordan. Okay. And he was in that uh, show, that singing competition for CBC. I cannot recall. Oh, oh the one that we went to when he was yes. a judge. Remember oh, what, the hell what was the name? Called? And then we met the Cover Chris. Me Canada. Yeah, Cover uh, Me Canada. And we met Chris. And, Sophie and I met him, and then he actually followed us mm. on Twitter, like right oh, afterwards. Yes. Sweet. And then we met that guy, Chris. What was it? The the host or the member guy who would like yeah, guy, would hype yeah. us up in the audience? I don't know. Yes. It's okay. I just feel like Jordan is a lot more shy and quiet. I don't know. So let's see what we're doing. Uh, travel to a tropical destination okay yeah. no god okay yeah so I have my answer. i'm already gonna choose brian literal from the backstreet boys he wouldn't he would be nice eye candy to look at he does work out a lot and he usually yes. is naked half naked um I feel like I haven't had like good experiences with Jordan Knight. I'm sorry. And we've to only say. met him a couple of times. But it's um, just like... Every time I've met him, he's kind of been standoffish. I don't know if that's like and how that he is. Be his personality. Too, yeah. Right? I don't and hey, it. fair, like fair, but like I don't know. I feel like I've had more good experiences with Brian, so I'm gonna choose Brian. Mm-hmm. And I'm not trying to be like mean about Jordan. I don't know. Oh, I just no. feel like he's not. You're gonna choose that. Brian. It's fine. You, yeah. you don't have to defend it. Yeah. As someone who has gone to a tropical destination <laughs> with Brian Littrell, I am oh, wow. not picking Brian Littrell. He's a nut. I don't think so. Jordan Knight, all the way, man. Hello, hola. Like he was hola. insane. Brian was just like hyped up on crazy. And I was just like, I'm like, I can't even enjoy this. Like, you're just, I don't know. You're like, That's Brian's personality. He's a fun guy. He tries to make it fun. I know sometimes it can be annoying. Um, I want pina coladas, man. Sometimes Nick kind of was like that too. So like they're both similar. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is a tough one for me. Really? I feel like Jordan Knight does need to go to a tropical destination because I feel like he's very pale. Um, <laughs> he's but he's also like very quiet, and I feel like I would go a little nuts. Whereas Brian is, as you had mentioned, very hyper and outgoing. So I feel like, first of all, he would know what good drinks to get at the the tiki bar and yeah. stuff. And he would make us drinks. He, him, yes, and uh, Leanne have a tiki bar at their place. 
I feel I'm like, like Brian would be more like, okay, we're not just laying on the beach. We're going to go, go, go. We're going to do this. We're going to do that, which could also be tiring. Yes. Whatever, but maybe as long as I just like, yeah, I'll watch you, buddy. You go play volleyball. I don't know. <sighs> I, okay. I, I, can I counter that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So him and Leanne always go to a tropical island in Florida. Well, not tropical, but like they go to the beach house in Florida and they're always relaxing. I don't hear any of like these stories of them going to like doing beach volleyball or whatever. I just yeah. see them doing relaxing things. So I feel uh, like he would just relax. I don't think he would do competitive. I feel mostly because I've met Brian more times than I've met Jordan and he does seem more outgoing and entertaining. I'm going to pick Brian for this one. So I don't even know why I'm defending that. Like it doesn't matter. Listen, Jordan, <laughs> you can sit with him on a towel and listen to the. It all depends on what you want. Him, to him pissing? No, it's the ocean. Oh, the ocean. sorry, sorry. I want to listen to him piss. That's sorry, weird. I heard piss. I don't like sorry. it. That I'm much. sure both of sorry. them would piss in the ocean. I don't know. That's a very weird. Sorry, it's uh, my organic. my mistake. I thought you were like pissing. I'm like, what is that? Okay, you gotta feed the fish. Okay, <laughs> that's <laughs> fair. That is true. Okay. Nothing like pissing don't, in the ocean. Don't piss in the ocean, guys. Okay. I don't know how that ended up there. Okay. Louis Tomlinson from One Direction and AJ McLean from Backstreet Boys. I'm the sorry. How did you know? That was the one that was the one that you always forgot who it was in those I'm pictures. Like, in I the first. Louis, I thought he was very pretty, but I don't know a lot about One Direction. So yeah. I'm leaning towards someone, but let's see what uh, our thing is. Take a oh, yeah. chocolate making class. AJ. I'm going to choose AJ. I think he can be romantic. I feel like AJ I is like also him. artistic. Yeah. So yeah. I know he like obviously has his nail polish line. He used to do bracelets. He used to do other things like that. So I think like a chocolate making thing would be something that he would enjoy. And I think it would be kind of entertaining. And because I've done a chocolate making course before and you make like these truffles and stuff and you can put like fun things on them. So I feel like it would be a fun time with AJ and just to like I chat agree. with him about life and shit. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, I like it. AJ. Woo! AJ it is. Look at us. Three. Yeah, look at us go. Harry Styles from One Direction versus JC Chazé. That's from an interesting one. Okay. Alrighty. Two quiet ones, right? Isn't Harry Styles also quiet? A little bit. Sort yeah, of but he's of. kind of like an outgoing kind of. Oh, okay. I thought he was quiet. I don't know why. A bit of both. Ooh, Go to Paris. Paris. Oh, <gasps> All right. Um, um, I'm gonna uh, pick Harry Styles. Okay. I think that could be fun to go to Paris with him. Yeah. I love obviously JC Chazé, and I know him. But um, I don't know. I think it'd be fun, more fun to go with Harry Styles. I feel like Harry, like, obviously we had a few episodes ago, we had watched the One Direction documentary, so he has been to Paris before, yes. but I think he'd be up for like, oh, we're going to shoot the Eiffel Tower or something like that. Um, JC, I always just think of him, and again, this is just the persona that they, as sleepy in sync, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I if I'm going to Paris, I would like to explore it. I don't want you to sleep and whatever, but yeah. Um, so I do think, and Harry is a lot of fun and interesting. He's an interesting person. Um, but JC is too, because I listened to him on Lance's podcast and he's a lot more loud than I thought he would be. Um, I think because he's with his friend, Lance, yeah. and that's why. So when you're with friends, you're like, yeah, having a good time. You put your guard different. down and then you talk like how you would normally talk. Yeah. So I think that's why he was loud on the podcast. Yeah. JC is yeah. very introverted. Like... Yeah. yeah. Um, Which isn't bad, much... but also, like, you'd have a different trip, right? You'd have, like, yeah. JC would probably be like, let's go to a bunch of museums. Whereas Harry is like, let's put on a freaking, you a know, fun uh, hat and go do uh, that. Uh, what, is that what is that painter's hat almost? What is that called? Beret. Yeah, yeah. A beret, it's yeah. Beret. It's either baguette, baguette or right this. around. A baguette, yes. Yes. Yeah, I think I Harry would be fun. Yeah. I think, yeah. All right, all in agreement. Who did we pick? Wait, wait, Harry I didn't pick anyone. I think Terry. I, I didn't Terry. pick anyone. Oh, I thought you did. Who'd you pick? I thought I, I said I was saying if you went, you would go here with this guy and here with this guy. Uh, I'm gonna pick JC. I think. 
just because okay. uh, I I don't know. I think like I could take him to like burlesque shows and stuff like that. And he'd, oh yeah, he'd probably be into. He'd that. be I feel like Harry like, would be up on stage at a burlesque show though. Probably so. true. Yeah. 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 There you go. Very All right. Religions. Yeah, that's All true. Right. He is beautiful. Good. God bless. Alrighty, We're getting close to the end, guys. Ooh, How many are left? Draws left. Oh, I think. <laughs> this one is an easy one. I'm sorry. So Trevor Pennick from O Town, the beautiful man that Lydia loves. Love this guy. And Danny Wood from New Kids on the Block. Who Danny Wood, not Donnie Wahlberg. What? He has yes, the woodworks. I, he does cooking shows. I gotta look this one up. Yep. Okay. I know exactly. Right. What you're talking about. Not uh, Danny. Every time. I remember, he, she always gets it mistaken with Donnie Wahlberg. I do every. I'm very time. intrigued what's coming up because I know one for sure that's left. One is the sexy time one, right? Here. That you said, yeah. <laughs> sexy time! <laughs> yes! Oh. Yes! Okay. okay. So I'm gonna, go with, with that I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Trevor Penick. I think he would make it awesome. Yeah. Mind Trevor blowing all the way, man. Like, okay, yeah. Danny is in very good shape. So I'd be confident that he could lift me up and like whatever. Um, but obviously what? we're going with Trevor because yeah. is Trevor, like I don't I'm sorry. Danny would. I'm yeah. sure Danny also has lots of experience. Um, also from that that book that we read, that uh oh god, that Krista book who went out to the O Town. Krista, Krista, right? Was it Krista? Yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 what was it? What was the name of that book again? Oh my god, it was called Girl About Town. Girl About Town, Town, that's right. Yeah. She had found an email that somebody had printed out about their sexy time with Trevor. And uh, yes, so there you yeah. go. So, wow, look at us. Yeah. Three, I just three. feel that Trevor would have a lot of fun and would be up for a lot of fun things. And yes. I would have a lot of fun with Trevor. I agree. We would, yes. I would also have fun. And he's such a beautiful man. He's so beautiful. He is beautiful. Okay. She so is. Like, yeah. Even though you make fun of me, yeah. it's true. It's true. It's gorgeous. Georgia's A+. Plus. We We're make fun of you out of love. Just enjoying the moment that you have. Out of love, we do it. It's not me. Just want to, like, rub my face on every part. <laughs> great. Anyway. So you're saying you want to go all night, ain't no stopping till the breaking up of Yeah, God. she does. I mean, every corner. Girl, you really turned me on. I want to go knock, 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 knock. bodies to the Come beat. On. And when the morning comes, we're letting the sun shine. Stay in bed, you can't separate us. We fit together. Yeah, there you go. Yep, I agree. All right. Yeah. Hey, we all That's agree. Trev. Woo! Woo, Trevor! Thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. Trevor. I don't know why we're thinking, but thank you. All, All right, guys, is it the last I'm one? Sad. This is the last one. Oh, I honestly don't even remember who's left. We got all the Jonases. Yeah. Howie, did we do Howie? Oh, we no. didn't do Howie D. Dan Miller from Old oh. Town. Boys. Both Love are both great them. guys. Both are awesome. Yeah, that's Love true. them both. That's true they are. But so pretty. I'm gonna stick with the Baxter Boys theme. I don't even know what the thing is Who yet. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. I'm, da, 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 da. I'm sorry, I didn't come, Lydia. Where you left you right away? Sorry. Stay home and play video games. Howie doesn't know how to do that. Man. How, yeah, it would be Dan Miller, but you know, what? Sophie, I, I never, I never, you I've never picked Howie about. in these kinds of games. So I feel like I could help Howie with the video games. So I'm gonna choose Howie. All right, that's. I great. love Howie. I love Dan Miller too, but Howie. I I love both of them. They're I lo they're both amazing guys. They're so sweet. They're both really nice people. Um, I'm gonna pick Dan on this one because I feel like he obviously would know video games. Uh, I can pick <laughs> Snuggle on the couch. I feel like he would be good at making food for us as well, because when we did the interview, he was making dinner. So Howie um, makes food, sort of. And Howie can give us, like, uh, beer or, like, drink. He can put while soy we're... sauce in the beer. <sighs> no, no soy sauce. Was, but other, other fun things while we're playing. Yes. Okay, here's my thing. I feel like <laughs> okay. Dan Miller would be, like, a Call of Duty kind of player. Mm, where, like, okay. he's, he's, like, young and, like, very, like, into, like, high action stuff. Whereas Howie would be like, I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, and then I would help him. Let's so, play Tetris. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, probably I think it's like Stardew Valley or like, like, 
things that are like a little bit more yeah. simple, he would probably like. Um, uh, I don't know. Is Howie a cuddler? Probably not. I can't I imagine. No well, yeah, way. probably. I, I feel like they. I feel like him and Lee cuddle. I feel I like know. he's more of a. And then Party. when you do that, you cuddle even no more having, like, when you're like that, right? Hold on. You're both talking at the same time. Ch uh, Sophia first and then Chilea. I said when you do that, you cuddle more when you're drinking. I guess. So right. I and feel like it's good. And I said, I feel like how he's the type of person who would have arcade machines in his house, which is fun. Yes, because he's from that time. Yes. So but like I Dan is not that much younger than Howie. He is. <laughs> we could play like Mario Brothers. Yeah, I feel uh, like I feel like they're they're both part of different types of game. Okay, hold on. All right, so let me check. Dan Miller, uh, O Town. He was born in 1980. Okay, so he's the same age as Nick. Howie B was born in uh, 1973. Okay, so there's some a bit of a gap, Madame. So like seven years. Dan Miller was closer to the release of Nintendo than Howie was, so. Mm, I don't know. Okay. You know what? I could, I feel like if I wanted to cuddle on a couch with somebody, it was probably Dan because Howie, I just feel like, I feel like Howie would be like into business transactions and not actually sitting down gaming with you. You know what I mean? Okay. But yeah. maybe he could help you with I the business. I could picture Dan wearing like a headset or something. I could picture Dan being Yeah, like, Dan there. definitely a Call of Duty player. Like, mm. uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like that. Mm, it's hard. It's hard because um, I, if, if I could convince Dan to play a chill game, I would pick Dan. I think Dan would play a chill game. Dan is pretty chill. Yeah, I don't know. Are you I don't know. I feel like the how these kids play video games and he probably... They probably oh. teach him. So. Howie's probably like, are you winning, son? Like, he doesn't, like, seem like the type who would actually game. I feel like he would be like, he's like, I play the stocks. You know, and you're like, that's not really a game, Howie. That's money. Maybe, you know, he played drinking games. Whatever. Play oh, I said video games. Sorry. Yes. Um. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pick Dan. I'm going to pick Dan. Yeah, that was a hard one. Sorry. Sorry, Howie. Yeah. I just don't Dan's see as a Howie. gamer, bro. I'm going to pick Howie because I never pick Howie in these kinds of Howie's games. And I feel like he deserves a, I feel like he deserves yeah, a little bit of love. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sophia first, then Chinzia. I said I've never picked Howie in like these kinds of games. So I'm going to give a little love to Howie. And thank you, Howie. Okay. And Chinzia? And I said, I love Howie. I've picked him in my boy band draft before. He's one of my favorite members of Backstreet, but I'm picking Dan on this one because I just think it'd be more fun to just chill at home with Dan. I feel like Dan's house would be a little more like chill. Cozy. Yeah. Not as fancy as Howie's. So, I don't yeah. Know. Howie's the type who has like the built in, like, you know how like they have like, above their oven, they have like a built in faucet for pasta water. And mm. like, dude, like, don't know that. now you're just flexing on everybody you know what i mean like i feel like dan's like still like filling up at the counter going like you know like oh you know like i feel well, like he's got the... Shinzia, you saw some of his house well i know but i can't remember uh -huh. i did not go to howie's house it was in no it was in the video yeah in the video, in the video yeah, like, yeah i don't know if he had that weird pasta hose you're talking about I don't <laughs> know. i'm just saying like he would be the type of person who would be flexing on people like that like probably oh this is uh this you know uh, the value of my house uh whereas dan would be like i made popcorn and you know like yeah see that's why so i'm chilling yeah. with dan miller i don't know howie's a sweet guy so yeah i know i'm gonna <laughs> stick with howie yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, you're right. Okay, so I'll I'll pick Dan. So I'm picking I'm Howie, pick and Chinzia. I pick Dan. And all pick right, guys. And I still love Dan. Woo, woo. Well, I, I feel everybody. so bad for like choosing, and then I you're know, like, you don't, like you don't you don't somebody out. But yeah, and then you're like, you don't like this person. I'm like, no. The only one that I may not like is Danny Wood, but that's not here or there. <laughs> There you go. Exactly. But we're all having sexy time with Trevor. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We can all Eiffel Tower each other. Man is in shape, baby. Hooray. Yeah. Woo. Look at us go. That's hilarious. Woo. I don't know. Hilarious. Good times. All right. That so, was guys, funny. let us know in the comments below who did you <laughs> yeah, pick? Who would you have picked in any of these situations? Yes. Or who, what sort of activities would be good for a future episode of things to do with yes. the Banders? Let us yes. know in the comments. And if you have a Oh, party, we could have done like uh sorry. 
Follow us on YouTube at Boy Band Break and also Twitter and Instagram. Instagram, Instagram Facebook. And Instagram as well. Sorry, go ahead. All those links are in the link tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly. Can you say something first? Oh, I was going to say, like, oh, our next one could be, like, going to the movies. Because some oh, people yeah. do go to the movies on Valentine's Day. Oh, I forgot. Post-COVID? That. Ew. That's <sighs> Great. There's nobody at the theaters. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. The delicious popcorn. Um, okay. So happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day everyone. Day. From everyone at Boy Band Break. Woo! Thanks for taking a break with us, guys. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.